Gonzo! Look at Frenchy. He has dashed the sacred monkey to the ground and killed it. Quickly then, Gonzo. The people will be upon us. Ken, don't miss this exciting adventure with little Gonzo and his great bull elephant, Tila. And to tell it, here's Smiling Ed McConnell. Yes, kid, you'd better come running and go smiling in and you bust a bomb, yeah. Squeaky the Mouse, Midnight the Cat, and Froggy the Gremlin. And we're going to start our program off right now with our story. Well, kids, once again we journey thousands of miles to India for a story about our little friend Ganga, the elephant boy and his great charge, Tila the Bull Elephant. Now, as you remember, Ganga worked for the young Maharaja of Bakor as a Mahal. One day he was washing his great elephant in the river when a visitor came to the elephant yard. Yeah, such an elephant. How does one elephant get so dirty? I wash you, you roll in the mud. And I wash you again. And again you roll in the mud. An elephant you are. A large pig. So, no more. Go to the riverbank. Tila, go to the bank. Or indeed I will have to punish you. Get out of the river. You have had enough that. Now you're drunk, Tila. Put me down. <laughs> so, now I suppose you must have some help. Gonga! Gonga! Sting, what do you do here in the elephant yard? That's news I bring, Gonga. Have you heard of the great happenings in the village of Novinpur? Novinpur? Ha! A jungle village. What there I... Aye, young one. You have too quick a tongue in your head. Hear this news. In the village of Lovingpur lives the reincarnation of the great Rama and his wife Sita. What? Rama, the Brahmin god and his wife. They have come back to earth to live? Not only to do Rama and Sita live in this village, but the monkey god Hanuman has sent hundreds of the monkeys to live there also. The sacred monkeys have descended on the village of Lovingpur. I.e., then there is trouble in that village. But the monkeys will eat the food of the people. That I know. Hey, Ganga, how you talk. The monkey is sacred. You must give up everything to help him. The monkey is a jungle beast and should stay in the jungle. Aye, that is the call. The young Maharaja calls me. Excuse me, Singh. I must go to his excellency. Yes, kids, in India, many superstitions still exist. Now, there are some people in India, like little Ganga, who refuse to believe the ancient myth of Rama and his wife Sita and the monkey god Hanuman. But millions of people do believe, and getting them to understand the truth is a long and difficult job. Anyway, little Ganga answered the summons to come to the palace of the young Maharaja. Uh, Ganga, you have read the Ramayana. Excellency, I've read many verses of the great poem, but not all of them. But the story I know. Uh, tell it to me. I would like to see how much you know. The story is simple, Excellency. Thousands of years ago, according to the Ramayana, the god Vishnu came back to the earth as the man Rama. This Rama had a wife named Sita. One day, the demon Ravana captured Sita and carried her to the island of Ceylon. And that is right so far. Uh, go on. Well, Rama called on Hanuman, the monkey god who was supposed to be the child of a moon and a wind god. Hanuman called all the monkeys to help, and they carried many big rocks and threw them in the river, and thus they built a bridge between India and Ceylon, so that Rama and the monkeys could cross to the island. And did they cross? Oh, yes. So the story in the 
Yana says, Brahma and Hanuman and the monkeys crossed the bridge and rescued Sita from the demon Ravana. Ever since, the monkey has been a sacred one in India. Uh, that is the story, Donda. Now, uh, do you believe the story? Excellent, Pete. I think it is foolish for the people to worship this stupid monkey. And the monkey eats the people's food. You are very right, Donda. In the village of Novinpur, a man and woman claim to be Rama and Sita come back to Earth. And they have brought with them hundreds of these sacred monkeys. The monkeys eat all the grain and the fruit of the villagers, and thus my people in the village of Novinpur are starving. And one may not take the monkeys away, or the villagers will be very angry. Anna, I must go to Novinpur at once and talk to these two. But you would be recognized, Excellency. Now, perhaps I could write Tila to Novinpur and live among the people for a while. I might learn more than you, Excellency. Agreed, Donna. Take Tila and start for Novinpur at dawn tomorrow. Oh, I know you're going to like this story. Yes, sir, just as like you like Buster Brown, too. Yes, sir, we're buddies, kids, and we stick together. You just take it from me, second best shoes just don't pay off. And that's another big reason why I want all my buddies to have Buster Brown shoes. Because Buster Brown shoes have what it takes for plenty of wear. Good materials, you bet. And they're made by men who really know what my buddies like. You just can't beat that smart, grown-up looking Buster Brown style. So any way you look at it, kids, Buster Brown shoes are top. They look swell, they feel swell, and they wear and wear and wear. Buster Brown shoes are the shoes all my Buster Brown gang wears. So if you want to be a real member of my Buster Brown gang, then you do like the rest of my gang. Always look for that picture of the boy and his dog inside the shoe. That's my dog, Ty. He lives in a shoe. I'm Buster Brown. Look for me in there, too. That's right. Look for the picture of the boy and his dog inside the shoe. Then you know the genuine Buster Brown. Now back to our story. Well, Ganga and the young Maharaja were certainly surprised to hear the strange news from the village of Novinpur that a man and his wife claiming to be the god Rama and Sita had come back to earth and were making their home in the village. But the fact that those two people had apparently brought a flock of sacred monkeys to the village was bad news. For as often happens, these monkeys will descend on a village or town in India and eat everything the poor people need for themselves. And because the Hanuman monkey is thought to be sacred, no one can stop them. And so, Ganga resolved to go to November to see what's happening. He rode Tila through the jungle until he reached the outskirts of the village. Stop, Tila. Now, here is a good hiding place. Here is heavy grass, and here are great banyan trees. Yet I'm sure no one from the village will come out here to cut food for the oxen. Your trunk, Tila. Put me down. So, now let me put your leg things on and... There you are, Great Tila. Now wait patiently. And soon I will come back to you. And so brave little Ganga walked straight into the village of Novinpur and asked questions and directions to the house where the supposed Rama and Sita live. And even as the boy walked toward the house, a beautiful woman and a handsome, though sinister man talked to each other inside the house. Namir, how long... Why, what... you fool. That is someone who you call me Namir. I am supposed to be Sita and you are Rama. 
We will leave those names and only those. Oh, but while we are by ourselves, I do not see why we should not use our own names. Because someone might pass and hear us. There is no door, only an opening on this house. As long as we are playing the parts of Ram and Sita, we will play them well. Uh, very well. Uh, I will remember to call you Sita. You do not think it is time to leave this village? No. There are more rupees to be had here. Yes, but the food supply is down so low. The village is near to starvation now. Uh, what do I care for these fools in the for? They still have many rupees hidden in jars and pots in their homes. We will have every rupee we can find. Then we'll leave their miserable village and move to another. Soon, my fine husband, we shall be rich. Mm, <laughs> perhaps, but oh, I grow sick of this life with monkeys. Work, work, work. Look at them. I feed them, I bathe them, I clean up after them. And for thanks, what do I get? They bite me. Especially that big brute, your favorite one. Vata. <laughs> Vata there is the smartest of all our trained monkeys. Does he not lead the trained ones into the jungle and return to the village with thousands of the wild monkeys? How else could we control the village without Vata and the other trained monkeys? Yes, but the work I must do. Ah, you are a lazy louse. But we will do as I say until we get every rupee out of this village that we can find. Meanwhile, we... Oh, may I come into the revered presence of the great Rama and Sita? Oh, it is a boy. What do you want here, boy? No one needs to enter this house. But I have journeyed far. Having heard that here in Novinsel, we the divine one. I have come only to offer to work for you and to help you. Well, boy, we have not. But my dear Sita, perhaps the boy could help us care for the sacred monkey. Hmm. Perhaps it would be a wise idea. What is your name, boy? I am called Ganga. From the freeze of the jungle, call the wild one, Baka. <laughs> See you, people of Novinfo. The chosen ones of Hanuman will come again to take away your food. Hanuman is displeased. Bring your bow, Dorama. Bring your bow, Dorama, and quiet the wrath of the mighty god, Hanuman. Ganga was sure by now that the man who called himself Rama and the woman who was called Sita were fraud. That night, Ganga scurried off to the jungle where Sheila waited patiently. So, oh, Sheila, my great one, did you worry about me? I was very busy. But now you have work to do. You must go swiftly and alone back to the palace. See, I have written a note to the young Maharaja. You must deliver it. Neo Pila. Now, see. I will put the note in the plate of your head harness. So. Now, up, Pila. Now, home, Pila. Go home. Excellency, it is of great importance. But I cannot imagine why. Sheila, 
He lies home. Where is Ganga? This is why I call you, Excellency. Ganga was not with Sila. The elephant returned riderless. Ah, then we must look for something. Neil Sila. Now then, Ganga rode Tila's head. He did not put on the harder. No, he looked on the head harness. Oh, Tila. Oh, as I thought, a note hidden in Tila's head harness. Here, let me read this. Mm-hmm. Well, things happen first in Novin Poor. Let's see. Yes, Excellency. Hold the Mahat to put a light hunting hard on Tila. I go to Novin Poor. <laughs> The people say that my heart is still coming through the jungle. He will see in a moment what we have done. So, I'll perhaps find his own village in the game. Oh, you have a plan? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I have a plan. The monkeys, why are they permitted to overrun a village and eat the food of the people? Why? Because the Hanuman monkey is sacred to the people, of course. So. And if a person strikes or injures one of them, then what? <laughs> he might be torn to pieces by the people. But I Listen, I will meet the Maharaja to speak with him. I will take Baka with me. Baka is surly and bad-tempered, but he is still a Hanuman monkey. I will make him attack the Maharaja. I am sure he will fight the monkey. Then we will see what the people think when they see that sacred monkey struck to the ground. Excellency, there is the house. Stop, Tila. Now, kneel. Uh, stay on him, Ganga, and be ready. Hello there. In the house. Come out. You come to the house of Rama. It is I, the Maharaja Bako. You would be the one who calls us of Sita? You would be the one who makes these thousands of monkeys stray on the village, eating the people's food? I? Yes, I am Sita. Am I not, Baka? I'm sorry, young woman. You may deceive the people of the village, but you are not Sita, nor is the man with you the god Rama. It will be far better for you if you do not try to fool me. Maharaja, what did I say to you? Lay one hand on the Maharaja Sahib, and I will send the elephant charging at you. Uh, so, that is better. Now, speak, Excellency. People of no Vinkor, the two who claim to be gods are not. They have stolen your hard-earned rupees, and even now, the money is already in a bag in the house. Soon they would have left you, and you would never have seen them or your gold again. In fact, we will... You take... will take away my gold? You will drive me from the village? No! First you will die! Oh, yes, it is. Oh! will release you from his trap. We brought the monkeys by sending our friends animals into the jungle to bring the wild ones. 
Do I, Excellency? Uh, not yet, Don. Uh, one more thing, young woman. The monkey. Before you go free, send the monkeys away. Yes, yes. Go Put her down, Dyer. Down to left. Now, Excellency, what do we do? Watch the woman. I will get the man. Then we return their stolen gold to these people. Then, Ganga, we will take these two to the British region. They will not play dog again. Oh, you betcha. Yes, indeed. I knew you'd like that story. Oh, oh, Louis. Smiling Ed. Smiling Ed. Is it too much to say about Rocky? Oh, my goodness, kid. It's Mr. Traveler, the great explorer. Hello, oh, Ed. Glad to see you, Mr. Traveler. Uh, and now, uh, what did you ask me about Foggy? That, that somebody, somebody who saw your show said that Foggy was in love with Mrs. Pretty Man Snoot. Is that true? <laughs> but that, but he... Oh, that Foggy the Grim and Croaking. I guess he doesn't like your saying he's in love with Mrs. Twiddle Van Snoot. Well, is he not? I'll tell you how you can find out, Mr. Traveler. Mrs. Twiddle, Van Snoot, and Foggy will be here next week, so you be sure and listen in and find out if there's any truth to that rumor. Oh, yeah. Squeaky and Midnight are going to play their little instruments there, too, mm. and you can see them. That little fox, the Sioux Indian boy, has an exciting adventure with a wolf and a grizzly bear. Oh, you mean there's a real live wolf or a grizzly bear on your television set? Oh, you just bet your life. Oh. Just looking in newspaper for the time and the station, Mr. Traveler. But right now, we've got to get on with our doings here. But first, I want to remind you kids how to find out the name of the store nearest you. It sells our Buster Brown shoe. Oh, it's just easy to find. You just look in the yellow pages of your telephone book under the heading called Shoe. There you see the name Buster Brown shoe. And below that... Name and address of the store nearest you where you can buy our swell Buster Brown shoes. If no matter which store you go to for your Buster Brown shoes, you see the same swell shoes I keep telling you about. Yes, sir. The same shoes all smiling as gang wear. Be a real member of my Buster Brown now. Gang, my gang. I want you to wear Buster Brown shoes. But just remember, whenever you find well, your Buster Brown dealer, look in the yellow pages of your phone book. That's my dog, Tide. He lives in a shoe. I'm Buster Brown. Look for me in there, too. That's right, Buster Brown. Nice. Oh, you bet midnight, the cat. That is nice. Oh, what's that squeaky in the mouth? Hey, what's he saying? Oh, he talks so fast no one can understand him but me. He he, he says that's a good joke, you saying that Froggy Grimmin lives in love. Yeah. <laughs> and Squeaky wants me to think Froggy went to court, so here we go. Yeah. Froggy went to court, and he did go. Froggy went to court, and he did go. Froggy went to court, and he did go. Because he loved his mouth, he so. Froggy went to court and he did go. Well, the donkey gave the bride away. The donkey gave the bride away. The donkey gave the bride away with a loud and happy bray. He said, I'd pray to for a load of hay. The bridesmaid was Miss Nanny Goat. The bridesmaid was Miss Nanny Goat. Mm-hmm. 
Bridesmaid was Miss Nanny Goat. She came and took Miss Mousy's coat. It disappeared down Nanny's throat. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Old Parson Owl then tied the knot. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Old Parson Owl then tied the knot. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Old Parson Owl then tied the knot. He married them right on the spot. Cause he was wise and knew what what. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, indeed. Well, thank you, thank you, kid. And now, Mr. Traveler, on uh, on second thought, uh, you can talk to Froggy about this supposed love affair right now if you want to. Bunk your magic clanger, Froggy. Hiya, kid. Hiya, hiya. Well, you know, whenever I say those magic words, that, that little eight inch lemon appears. And now, Mr. Traveler, go ahead and ask Froggy about that. Thank you, Smiley. Thank you. Oh, now, Froggy, I uh, tell me, is it true what they say? About this day. Yeah, about this day. Is it true what they say about this day? Is it? No, no. <laughs> Absolutely, no. Oh, forget about the whole thing. Uh, look, Zoom Cup. Look, children, today I'm going to talk about a trip I made to Egypt. The people of Egypt are dark skin people. With big red ears. No, oh, they have big red ears and they flap them up and down when they run. No! Uh, uh, no! Uh, oh, uh, oh, oh, you make me so mad! Look, now, now look, look, sometimes a tired traveler approaches the oasis dying with thirst. Oh, and just when he sees the boy in, he paddles up to the pool of water and he plunges his hot face inside. He shampoo his hair. That's right, he shampoo his hair. No, that is not right. Oh, he's Oh, no. Shut me up now. Keep still. The, the, the man is dying with thirst. He paddles up to the water, shouting. Now I can fill my water pistol. No, oh, he shouts. Now I can fill the water pistol. Hooray! No! No! I didn't mean to say that. Now, Simba, look, pay no attention to me, listen to him. In the oasis, there are trees called date palms. And the first thing you want to do when you see a date palm... Make a date. That's right. You make a date with a tree, or you take it out of dinner, and you go dancing. No! I said, look, stop that, kitty. Stop that, now. Look, cut it out, now. Look, you take your hands and shut my face. Oh, look, now the date trees are the dates to go on the palm trees. And if you want a date, you climb up the tree and you reach for a date, some cup. Now, kiss it. Now, look, look, uh, please. In Egypt, there are pyramids. And uh, they, they, were, they were made by the old rulers. On one Egyptian ruler. A foot long. That's right. One Egyptian is a foot long. When you use the ruler in a stool. No, no. <laughs> Look, I'm not talking about that kind of a ruler. Oh, Louis. Look, I put soap in my mouth and I shut me up now. Keep you stop that. Look, that children. Once I went to an Egyptian tomb and I watched them dig up two bodies. First, they dug up an Egyptian mummy. And they dug up one Egyptian daddy. No, sure, first a mummy and then a daddy. Mummy and daddy. Yeah. No, no. Oh, oh you glass mistake, you. Look. In Egypt, a mummy is a man, yet. No, my mama is a woman. Look, I'm not talking about your mummy. I'm saying a mummy is a man. Your mummy a man? No, my mummy was a man. But my daddy was a lady. No! <laughs> oh, you make me so mad. I don't know what I'm talking about. Look, I'm talking about Egyptian mummies. They've been buried for years. They're all wrapped up yet. In their overcoats. Certainly, they're wrapped up in their overcoats. No, no! Oh, no, yeah. Oh, you make me so mad. Mommy, 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 let me out. Oh, my poor old Mr. Traveler. And now, kids, listen to me. Come on, boy, come on, please. Oh, yes, we've got an exciting story next week and some other things I'll tell you about in a minute. 
But first, I want to tell all you kids how you can be a member of Smiling Ed's Buster Brown Gang. Yes, sir. I want everybody to belong to my gang. Everybody can who wears Buster Brown shoes. You know, kids, those Buster Brown shoes are what shows we're buddies. Yes, sir. We all stick together. And we wear them because we know they're the best shoes anywhere. Oh, they really look like something. Martin, grown up. Made to take plenty of hard licks, too. And boy, they really feel good. Oh, you bet. Now, kids, I'm counting on you to get a pair of these swell Buster Browns the very next time Mother takes you shopping for shoes. Oh, you can see some of them on our television show. But always remember, look inside the shoe for that picture of the boy and his dog. Oh, that's my dog, Tide. He lives in a shoe. I'm Buster Brown. Look for me in there, too. That's right. Look for the picture of the boy and his dog inside the shoe. Then you know the genuine Buster Brown, too. Now, gang, don't miss our exciting story next Saturday. Has everybody had fun around here today, huh? Well, that's wonderful, buddy. Now, don't forget church to Sunday school and be listening next Saturday. When you hear, hi, kids, come around. I have to tell you about the Brown Brown.